How do I feel about everything that just happened within the past 24 hours? Uh, where do I begin? I went from feeling hopeful to straight up fucked. <laughs> like, the whole voting process for me, it was interesting. I live in a white red area of Wisconsin. So anything that is wheat bread, automatically toast. Going into the booths, what should have been an overall very easygoing feeling was just straight up tense. Everyone that was there was looking in my direction. At this point in the game, that is life for me. I've gotten pretty used to the staring. At times, I just let them stare, let them whisper. As soon as I make eye contact with them, they try to run and hide through their face or so. And I get why I'm stared at. Doesn't make it any easier, but whatever. So, after all was said and done, I was so glad to just do the thing that is voting. I mean, it's not that hard, it's not that twisted. <laughs> the staring. I felt like everyone that was staring at me was thinking the following. Holy shit, that nigger is gonna vote. I bet that person's voting for Hillary. Of course they would vote for Hillary. <laughs> One of the worst things I was thinking in my head during the time. If that motherfucker votes for Hillary, I swear to God we're gonna kill that bitch. Yeah. That was running through my head. But I had to suppress those thoughts and keep on going. I didn't get stopped or holed up while trying to vote. I registered like everybody else, eased on over to my district, smacked down my vote, and kept on going. After that, I went for a walk. It was so bright and sunny. Felt very relaxing. Very relaxing. Me going out in public as I am these days. Hit or miss. I do have my moments. But that time felt great. And then it was time for the circus to begin. <laughs> Just sitting there, watching the votes come in, watching, waiting, hoping. Hour went by, three hours went by, Social media feeds were just off the chain nuts. Inside of me, I was feeling all sorts of things. I went from feeling hopeful to optimistic. Then reality started sinking in. But all the what ifs. What if things went the other direction? What if 
things that people have fought so hard for are just going to get flushed down the toilet. What if me being myself went from this pure feeling of awesomeness down to that lowly feeling like shit. I stayed up. I was watching the numbers come in. I felt like my eyes were just gonna bleed and fall out. It was hard for me to fall asleep last night. Because all those thoughts just started running through my head. I didn't want to accept anything until I woke up and read it for myself. This ain't dreaming no more, this is reality. <laughs> I felt like I was fucked. <laughs> trying to put a positive face on this because if I were to just let loose, holy shit. But fuck it, <laughs> I am gonna let loose. from being hopeful to now facing reality. Like I said before, I live in the state of Wisconsin. In the state of Wisconsin, you can be L, G, or B. But if you are anything other than those three, you're fucked. L, G, and B. You can be yourself, you're protected on the job, you can do anything you virtually want. And you get extra fun things if you happen to be white bread. But if you're T, especially a wheat bread T, you are fucked. And I've been fucked over several times from employers, friends, and my own blood. When I went outside today, everything was just ghost town quiet. Everybody kept to themselves. I was on my way to yoga. There was these two slices of white bread inside their place of residence. They looked out the window, caught a glimpse of me, and closed the curtains. As I got closer towards my destination, I had to put all my thoughts on the back burner, try to ignore them, and focus everything on making today work. <laughs> As soon as I stepped in that building, the first thing I was asked, Alex, how are you feeling? You gotta be feeling something about everything that just happened. I could either let loose or sugarcoat it. 
I went with sugarcoating it because if I were to let loose, I honestly do feel like someone would have snuffed me out right then and there on the spot. That is no way to live. To have it to sense how I feel, edit what it is that I want to say, and most importantly, live in a state of mind that any given second These next several months is going to be really fucked up. It's going to affect everybody. I'm not denying that. But the question still remains, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to people like me? Will we become endangered? But well, we already are endangered. Well, all the progress that we made just go up in flames. If so, when? Who am I kidding? It ain't no if so. When? We know what is the when. The amount of rage that I want to just let loose scares me. It took me a long time to get my anger in check, to get my rage in check, to stop seeing red whenever something pissed me off, only to black out at the end. I want to go outside and just shout, fuck. Fuck, 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 at the top of my lungs. But if I do so, that fear slips right back in. Then I'll be six feet under and part of another statistic. I feel like my hopes, dreams, my ultimate goal is that much further away and unreachable. I just want to live, not exist, create, share. That's it. That's all I really want to do. I don't want to be in survival mode all the freaking time. I don't want to have to put on a song and dance whenever I'm interacting with slices of white bread. <laughs> I don't want everything that I went through to just be boxed up again, shoved far in a corner, and have to put on that fake persona just to survive. That's my reality. I will fight everything for as long as I can. But the very thought of having to cave in at some point it just makes me want to go on some sort of spree of doing a random my kidding, not random. This complete and utter acts of violence. And I have to fight that thought. I have to suppress that thought. Because if I do that, I'll be giving in to what they want. 